Alright, let's go here. As my feet can carry me. Donations. Donations for what? Do you know of ice? The refugees. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Chill. Um. I like to take the donations to the barn myself. Maybe people would donate more. I need to get into the barn right now. Something dangerous might be among the donations. I suppose it saves me the walk. But if you're gonna do it, hurry up. Okay, let's go in. Let's see what goes on in here. Hello, sir. You best not piss away Manip Nestor's good graces. The uh, Worms Rock prison is rather cold this time of year. Donations chest. Sorry. Two. Most holy Why is he talking to Halson? There's something wrong with the donations. I'm oh, investigating. Oh, investigating, are you? Well, my deepest apologies, detective. <laughs> Pull the other one, piss pot. You're coming with me. We'll see what Manip Nestor has to say about this. What? What are you? Explosives? In toys? Oh. You have two seconds to explain yourself before you're under arrest. I found a lot of toys. The toy bears rigged to explode, but don't worry, I disarmed what? them. Those are children's toys. W which means if a child had picked one up, I don't want to think about it. How do I know you're not the one who planted those explosives? I just wanted to see what was inside the barn. All right, all right. I was looking for stuff to steal. Why would I disarm my own explosive? Activate the toy and toss it to him. Why would I disarm my own explosives? Not this. I just want to find whoever's responsible. All right. I guess it can't hurt. I'll check up on the rest of the goods. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. Hmm. I thought this assignment was going to be dull. No such Curse luck. to put my hands on everything. Need to find a way forward. Mm. Nestor's warning. It seems I have to remind some of you that what is in the barn is for the refugees, not for your dinner. Next one I find skimming on the top. Uh, the top cleans the lat latrine for the rest of the month. I say, terribly decent of you to come over and exchange pleasantries. You're one of the most impressive pigs I've ever seen. What are you doing in that pen? I was donated, apparently. Presumably for an emotional support role. A therapy pig, if you will. 
That'll be why I'm kept so well fed. <laughs> they doubtless want me performing at my tip top. Hmm. Okay. Donation record. Calanine, blankets, male shoes, cookware, muslin pillows. Stuffed toy bears. Arf Arthur Gregorio. Double the patrols. We're dealing with a maniac here. Letter of complaint. To the Flaming Fist duty officer, I assume that the members of the Flaming Fist were assigned to Rivington to maintain law and order among the refugees, but what do I see? Ragged refugees, big as life and twice as odorous, walking Rivington Street as if they own the place instead of keeping decently out of sight in the refugee camp, I warn you. My granddad knows Belayas at Lear Porter personally, and if those refugees aren't round up, yeah, but they belong to the place over here, but... Well, it was Arthur Gregory. Gods. Any one of us could have been blown to smithereens. Who donated the stuff, so. Make trouble. Glad to see you. Glad to see anybody, really. It was a lonely road getting here through those abandoned farmlands, and I'm a sociable sort. Heads will roll for this. This, this transgression. I don't give a shit about all that. It's how I've... A perfectly respectable businessman wants to bring his, well, mm. business into this fine city. And what do they do? They talk some absolute horse bollocks about papers and correct filing procedures and threw me in this slump. Imagine upending someone's life in the name of bureaucracy. People are out of touch here. I should be loins deep in Charesse's caress by now, not waddling about in filth. Oh, it's these guys. They got me signed up to learn to make pots, which is dumb. I'd rather learn how to kill cultists. And I bet you'd back me up on that. I'm really worried about Umi. Why? So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. At least you made it. How are you holding it's up? It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. Uh, I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. I wonder where he is. Bex died. Bex is dead. I I'm alive, but... For what? I'm no one without Bex. Yeah, we kind of failed with saving the tiefling. Is that... the wood from the cart too. Anything of use? Now we can fire. If nothing else. Well, well, we did save the tieflings, technically. Savages, a lot of them. We're as desperate as the rest of these savages. Just not uh, the guy from him. last light. We got here first. I'm assuming he's friend. dead. Hunter has nothing to say to you. He seems to have. Rechte Hathran Rust. Frey, thou disk to Rovna. Frey, thou disk ablast. You recognize the funeral rites of the Gur people, the same monster hunters you met in the Hag Swamp. Mm. Is burning the possessions of the guy that had a sarin killed. Im orak nete krasin netra. So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. I was for that. We want nothing to do with you. What do you want with the star? The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When we sent Gandrel after you, we wanted to interrogate you, to discover how to save our children and then destroy you. Well, he but said to capture him and return him to his owner. You have changed. 
Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. Yes, historian's free now. It was more dumb luck than any skill on his part. What business? What business is it of yours? For those your friend stole from us, it is a matter of life and death. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Kazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children. But I promise you, they're already dead. Yeah, probably right. Okay, you sure, Sarian? Two hundred years bringing him victims. Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. If Asarian will help you, then I will. You owe them revenge, Asarian. If nothing else, you owe them that. We can't help you. There's nothing more to discuss. You owe them revenge, Asarian. If nothing else, you owe them that. Yes. He wants to have revenge anyway, so... I can do. Thank you. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence and sin. Mm -hmm. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> if you're trying to encourage me... You're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. Alright. Oh my god. Better not be cursed. Shaking. That noise. All right, lock like this. Be on my way. Ew. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn, unattended. How fortunate. Doesn't feel very fortunate. Connect your mind to its fledgling aberration. Wake it up. Attack the creature before it awakes. Doesn't feel very fortunate. Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable. Its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on. Kill it. Absorb its power. Just like you did before. Um Just 
Should we attack it? Or should we wake it up? Let's just attack it. Oh, it already woke up. What? No! I've had so little time! Uh, okay. That didn't go how I thought. Brain star. Daddy Halson. Mind flare brain. What am I supposed to do with that? You gain advantage on insight checks. Truso a al Whatever. Your time has come. The absolute cost to all faithful, and you have been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks. Barracks, you leave your armor, leave all the insignia of rank behind you. Are part of the flaming fist no longer. You have been a little true soul, but soon you will be much more. You will be one of us. Quite exhausted. A good night's sleep would do me wonders. You want to sleep? All right, we could sleep. Hey, Final morning. warning. We've What's been all that way already, I think. This place is huge. Like, I don't know. Where I have and have not been. Very well. If you're a customer, go down to the shop. Otherwise, clear off. What do you sell? Well, given this is in fact a the shopkeeper can tell you more. Give the lazy s Here we go. Okay. That. that. It's locked. Hey, shut that. From the other side. I wonder where it leads. Oh. Uh, letter from the fulfilled heart. Dear Master Angleron. I'm exceedingly sorry to report that we were still unable to find someone who might be willing to meet with you. The men and women of the city can be so awfully picky sometimes. Might I suggest that you try submitting a portrait that presents you in a different light? Not that there is anything wrong with the blacksmith, but I wonder if that might be one of the prejudices that we are unfortunately running into where tastes are concerned. Of course, we won't stop trying to arrange something for you. As we like to say, the fulfilled heart, there are no lost souls and those who have yet to found just only those who have yet to find their home. Here is Gildra. My dearest darling Gildro, the last letter left me rather concerned. I think it's time you seek some professional counsel for your melancholy. melancholy. Such things can be left to brew away unchecked. You can always be a sensitive soul, and I know how heartbreak has always hurt you more than you let on. There's no shame in seeking a little aid, is there? I'm always here for you, and you know that, but I'm no expert when it comes to these things. But I think, and I think you should find someone who is. I say that this is all the love in the world. Please think about it. All know that the primal source of the meta magical method and the measurement is the Gadriel Iron Hand, gnome deity of milin militant artifice. For generations, the Iron Hand had reverent reverently toiled in the Lavascape workshop, creating intricate pieces of our devices of precision and beauty, crafting in peace alongside the sweatshops of the lesser artisans. Sometimes in their generos generosity, the Iron Hands even shared methods of these others, but that then did the adherents of the thief, thief, the thief gone gone in their hubris found a house. Okay, I can't read this book. Jesus. Something good here, I hope. It's been years since I bought the forge from the old Gossam. 
And in this time, I thought I'd seen everything, but I was wrong. The Schmitter is a Rivington wrap brought in yesterday. Is the third weapon made from Infernal Iron. I've purchased them last month. The only Infernal weapons I've seen, I've been here. Of course, I sold them all pronto. Probably going less than I might have if I was willing to sit on them for a while, but that's something I am not willing to do. Mama Anglerian didn't raise any fools, but still, I help. I have to wonder where are these diabolical weapons coming from. At the ready. Or right, maybe let's go down this way. I don't know. All right, back that way is the circus, right? You know we sneak in. Precious little ball, babe. <laughs> I'm all pointy ears, my love. <laughs> Can't get enough. I'm not surprised. I'm a ball, babe. <laughs> Alright, enough fucking around. Um, okay. Let's go ahead to Arthur's mansion. Let's go confront this bitch, Arthur. I'll be here. No, bitch. Look, I really don't have time to chat. Oh my God, the game loading in. Can find someone this busy to listen to somewhere. I found the toy. The toys you donated. Care to explain before everything blows up in your face? How do you? Whatever you think, you know. I, I, I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. Mm, I'm here to see you're about to justice keeper gold. I want answers. If I were after gold, I would have gutted you and taken it. Please don't. <laughs> what do you want from me? It's not my fault. I was forced to do this. Framed even. They would mm. have killed me if I refused to rig the toys. And they're definitely going to kill me now. Uh. They, who's this they? I can't tell you. I won't tell you. Um, tell me who they are, or you'll be dead before they even get to you. Okay. That's not what I was expecting. All right, all right. Just don't hurt me. The teddy bears were an experiment. My greatest invention. A clever little device in their chest allows them to speak. But there's more. Smoke powder inside the device. I collect packages from Veloga's fireworks in the lower city and stuff the bears with it. Wow, good job. Not because I want to. Because I have to. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll kill me. You still haven't told me who they are. I don't know who's in charge, but it starts at the fireworks shop. That's where the packages come from. Go there. Tell them Uncle Felogia sent you, and they'll show you the smoke powder. Lots of it. There. I told you what you wanted to know. Uh, now, will you let me go? His plea comes with an offering. A pass granting you access to the lower city. Thanks, but I'll be needing all your gold, too. Yes, take it. All of it. I don't care. You'll never see me again, I, I promise. All right. How much gold do we get from that? Arch? Something. Something. Let's go this way. 
Duke Stama is dead. This does not bode well. Oh, doesn't it? Down by the river. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Of course. I live to serve. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. Ortash is a dead man. I have reasons of my own for taking him as down. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. <clears throat> But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch. They're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When mm -hmm. he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change. Freedoms will vanish. And soon, you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. Damn. Uh, personally, I put a lot of the blame on Gortash. A tyrant's nothing without lackeys. And the Gondians are the perfect lackeys. Dangerously intelligent, pathetically submissive. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the watchers are on us like flies on shit. Uh, what was the plan? Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. Oh. A broom powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and boom. Problem solved. Maybe the Gondians are victims and not oppressors. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. <clears throat> now they'll die like the dogs they are. Gortash is the enemy, not the Gondians. I'm convinced. Give me the bomb. I'll make contact with the Gondians. Maybe they'll see reason. Lateral damage is the best way to tie up loose ends. Give me the bomb. I'm convinced. Give me the bomb and I'll take out the foundry. I don't know. Gortash is the enemy. There is no other way. But I believe in second chances. When you come crawling back here, and you will, we can talk. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's another way, right? The game takes so long to load in. Like, hello, can we get it together? Shabazz is correct. Hello. An elf. Such temptation. I loved many in my day, but never one so fair. <laughs> Grace, elegance, just waiting to be shattered. Oh, yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or oh, have I misjudged you? Not my first choice, but I wouldn't say no. 
Of course you wouldn't. Who can resist the pleasure of the strap once leather meets flesh? It's fee on you, Seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. I'm actually into men. The penance must <laughs> wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Um, in the flop house lies a fresh killed corpse, a lady dwarf. Could that be Fion? Murdered. Ye gods, the poor thing. Oh, by the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. Oh, she did. I'll miss that face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. Um, surely you could spare reward. I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Talk with the drow twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they will gift from the mamzelle and let them show you why. <laughs> Anything else on your mind, sweetie? No. All right, let's go. The drow twins. Let's a talk to them. Face. Looking for another chapter of dirty law for your biography? You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. An intriguing pair. Takes me back to my youth. <laughs> um, we're actually gonna come back to this uh, later. I have an idea. I will not spoil it. Let's talk to this elephant, though. For another case closed, <laughs> another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. She asked me to find Lorcan's real killer, seeing as you can't be bothered. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh. I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? Father Lorgan's murder is just one pair of bigger plot, a ball plot. I found the murder weapon. Uh, it's part of a ball plot. A ball plot? You as well? Devella's been harping on about ball for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy codswallop and fear mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? Um... What about the murder target list? Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Okay. Well, what are you waiting for? You have a big conspiracy to solve. Move! Sorry, in love. Won't you lockpick this? Room for me. I mean, to try. On my way. Coronation pass. Oh boy. <clears throat> Tell me, am I beautiful? More than beautiful. You 
are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dunes swept across the Kalen. <laughs> I was just you walking in on this. Of the forbidden palm, soft on my skin, sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Us watching. <laughs> Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you? Wait. I know you. You do. I don't understand. This isn't safe. Get out of here now. Your face. Doesn't move. The absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this woman? Oh shit. Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Stools boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? What is happening? Ew! I don't like it. It's a nasty little mind flare. The nasty, dirty, stinky mind flare. Halson, why are you scared, Halson? Uh. Mm, yeah. This. Can you feel death's cold grip? Delicious. Okay, girl. Hells. I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. Too much just ate your brain. Every tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. Huh? It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. Uh... One word, yuck. So the critics have said of Feyrun's <laughs> greatest masterpieces. I'm not so cold-hearted, nor so short-sighted. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. <laughs> Girl. I'm not one to judge, but desiring an extra planar, plan, planar, extra planar, being like that is peculiar. No desire is peculiar. It is instinct, and instinct never lies. But perhaps okay. there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. What? Is she trying to sleep on me? Rapture. Close your eyes and listen. Okay. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it, 
warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all-being. Here, there is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be? Rich. Sane. You are sane. Time dances on in sequence. The winding path of time evens and becomes straight. With a quiet head, you can once again hear the song of the birds and the wind in the grass. You pluck a flower and it does not bleed. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I'll remember you. And you'll remember me. Okay. <clears throat> what did that do for me? Anything? Um, I guess maybe I will remember. Pecan's journal. He's getting worse. The whispers and night tears the blood. I know he's hiding something and the others in the flop house know it too. I've seen how they look at him and how they look at me. They're scared of him and I can't blame them. I am too. I'm here, hoes. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never you must help me, Raphael, for the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Ooh. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. <clears throat> I actually like Raphael. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. I hate that my weapon glitch the first time like glitches through my cape. mind is clear. It's unsettling. Another party trick. Show me something real. That was no party trick. Somebody's missing. Can't you tell? That illithid you keep in your pocket can't hear us anymore. Then speak freely. Tell me why you brought me here. Clever, but when we first met, you promised me a cure. This isn't a cure. Ooh, I want to do the ball at number four because it's a dark urge. Answer. I'm not scared of that creature, not when Ball himself has hooked his eyes on me. Oh, come. It's the reason you're in this predicament. And I'm your only way out of it. Indulge me. And at least hear me out. <sighs> I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far, but no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Orpheus? Very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. 
Why would I want to free him? I suppose you'd rather suck on the Emperor's tentacles <laughs> till the end of your days. Bold of him to say that. Orpheus is your only hope of surviving this horror show without devolving into an illithid. To you, he will be a friend. Mm. After all, you're at war with an elder brain. All evidence I see suggests Orpheus is my enemy and Emperor my ally. The Emperor is the only reason I'm still alive. No, Orpheus is the only reason you're still alive. The Emperor is abusing the gift for its own ends. And it's doing the same to you. You're nothing more than the beast of burden that will transport it to the elf. Well, it's not like he put Orpheus there. An ox requires food and the occasional beating to keep it moving. You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. But if he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. Worth taking the risk. I'm convinced. Tell me how to free Orpheus. We're done here. I'm leaving. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. Um, yeah. Oh my god. How was I just naked? There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Uh, it was Raphael. Raphael? <laughs> well, for now we'll go along with the Emperor. Honesty. Of course. I don't really care about freeing Orpheus this round. Devil comes sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? I don't know. I didn't wait to find out. He knows how to free Orpheus. How interesting. No doubt he impressed upon you the need to do so. And what did he want in return for this knowledge? Um, I don't know. I didn't wait. To, I didn't wait to find out. You feel the touch of the Emperor's mind peeling at the edge of yours, trying to gain access. Its thoughts slide into yours, turning through them like fingers, sifting for answers which it finds you are telling the truth of course i am glad but be careful the devil is like a cockroach no matter what you do to it it will always come back i doubt this will be the last time you are approached i trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side if you go back Without to your hot protection. form i will you cannot defeat the elder you cannot even get close to it, no matter what the devil whispers in your ear. All right, I get it. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Um, I'll find another way. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the first mother's son. And yet it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Raphael possesses a powerful relic called the Orphic Hammer. That hammer is the only thing capable of smashing the chains that bind the Prince of the Comet. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Is Dick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. Or if he sends a tadpole before and his guard attacked, won't he attack if we free him? The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. Um, any idea where he keeps this hammer? A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. 
He must keep the Orphic hammer there. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. You are wasting your time. And mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. All right, all right. So it's either uh, free Orpheus or if you free Orpheus, you betray the Emperor. I feel like she's the type to trust the people that she like learns to trust, and I feel like the Emperor sure has his own agenda, but ultimately we're working on the same side so like betraying him really doesn't really even cross my mind hello welcome to Danthilon's dancing axe don't draw any trouble on old Enza. uh so let's have Halson stay Halson's a little too nice for me to keep bringing him the statue of Halson in his underwear <laughs> a hammer capable of shattering the bonds in the astral plane. Huh. That sounds like something we should seek out. Oh my god. Uh... Oh, I understand my affliction at last. I'm a ball spawn. The Lord of Murder compels me. You are a mortal child of Baal. Be careful Did I already talk to them about this? Fact. I hear many of your kind have met premature ends. Mm. Can you stay here? Well, it's certainly mm. good to be back at camp. How I've missed the smells. Aww. I'm glad you're back where you belong. Indeed. And I'm sure Dringo will do a great job. He always took good care of me. Stop. Stop that. Greetings, sir. You can turn off the charm, Entharl. She's with me. Blueberries. Thought I had a sale. You look tired, Harper. I missed you too. They're already here? Down below. Here's the key. Moshe stole right in front of them. Hi, Harper. May <clears throat> Saluna's tears shine on this meeting. A very formal greeting, Geraldus. You are well? Yes, a high hopper. Uh, standing beneath Saluna's tears. The lad's a little nervous, Jahira. We heard of your great victory against Ketherick. Geraldus isn't nervous. He's terrified. And he's using Saluna's tears as some kind of code. Mm. I understand, <clears throat> Geraldus. Take a moment. And you, Harper. Mm. There is something familiar about you. Doesn't she remind you of our old friend Marcus? Jahira's meaning is clear. Marcus was a traitor laying a trap. The same, it seems, is happening here. Mm. We're going to wait for Jahira's signal. The problem with Marcus, of course. We didn't end on the best of terms. Ah, uh, yeah. The screaming. Hello. Ah, uh, all right. Let's see. Okay, my turn. I'm invisible. Or you feed the soil. This is good. You are mine.
much for peace. Good job, Gail. How many has she brought to Baal's side, I wonder? Mahler's mark. How many more Harper's dead? Did I? A lot. Did I get it right? Selunus tears. It is said no false face can stand beneath their light. An old code, Harper. But yes, you got it right. Now I need your report. We had eyes on suspected cultists in the city. <clears throat> like you asked. We thought we were tracking them. But they were tracking you instead, evidently. Doppelgangers. And they're not just working with the cult, our high harper. They're part of it. Baalists, I think. Sworn to or in the red, yes. We've already had the pleasure. Go on. Everything seemed fine until your latest orders. Until we started to search for the Rashimar. They struck the same night. I woke to one of them strangling Chelvin. While smiling at me out of her face. Ew. She said... It said... That I'd report back to you as normal. Lou, are you here? And... I had no choice! I'm sure it felt that <sighs> way, Geraldus. The others were likely dragged back to Orin. Tortured. Sacrificed. I do not expect you to die for me. But to risk Antharl? Any citizen who might have wandered in? There is always so a choice. And the Harper must be able to make the hard ones. Perhaps this isn't the life for you after all, Geraldus. No, Jahira! Hi, Harper! Please! I'm still a Harper. I want to help! You've scarcely signed up, boy. And there is a war coming. Why die a Harper when you could still live as anything else? No one can make the choice for him, not even you. Enough of the Harper dramatics. What do we do? Wait to hear you. I can like this is his fault. It's yours. She's right. Um, no one can make that choice for him. Not even you, High Harper. I want to fight for Kelvin. For all of them. So it means something. Death is death. To look for meaning in it is foolishness, boy. Childish storybook nonsense. <laughs> exactly the kind the Harper would spout, I suppose. Fine. I have no right to make the choice for you. Not when this mess is of my making. I sent the Harpers hunting after the cult without thinking what it would mean to be hunted in turn. Now they are compromised. And if not for you, I wouldn't even know it. I'm sorry, Geraldus. Harper. And I owe you an apology as well. I haven't told you everything I hope to learn here today. First, Geraldus. You're the last Harper in the city I can rely on. Lay low and rest while you can. I have matters to discuss with my friend here. I want to do a rest because we have an, a camp event. You won't have to wear those Harper smiles much longer. Orin has given the order. Kill the crone, but not before you tell her how her little soldiers die. Preserve some hair or sinew if you can. The children will like to string harp of her own. Did we do everything over here? That's just the Raphael thing. Uh, I guess. Greetings, Citizen Fluffington. <laughs> I trust you are enjoying. Hello. <clears throat> Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. <clears throat> um. Um, I've been invited to the ordination. Won't be. You don't look the posh sort. Last door on the right. Go on. Make merry. Easy enough. Lower the gates. Special permission. Thanks, Queen. Don't mind if I do. Halt. We do not know how you gained entry, mm. but your trespass shall not be punished. 
Lord Gortash has been expecting you. Oh, has the he? Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. Greetings, old friend. Orin told me you were on your way here, but I scarcely believed it. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Welcome home. Does he know me? Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Um, okay, let's do a long rest. Queen Vlakith. Oh. Skrah! 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 Sherlock! Sherlock. And still, you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Voss. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Voss lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great Dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the no. Gidanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Return to the astral prison. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barter Vlakith, commander of dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. Lazel's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo mm. within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacket. Keep silent. I gave you my faith, and you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much. And you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing. You are nothing. Oof. The Kithraki will bring you. I <laughs> will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow then Why do it beg for death damn she's so I angry will consume you i will unmake you <clears throat> soldier my engine it hurts oh girl i think this might be it Soon. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. I want us both to be ready if... Well... <clears throat> if we can't fix me. Bro. Gartas is gonna pay for what he did to you. Hear, hear. And hey, kicking his ass might burn off a bit of this extra heat. Let's go home. It's about damn time. We just played host to an undying queen. Oh, and that's without our fine silverware. <laughs> Lazelle has courage turning her back on a lifetime's belief. As for us, best we stay out of interplanar politics, I think. Yeah. Orpheus is on his own. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the undying queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the astral sea. Never to cross the one in the void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. 
better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? <sighs> Let me try this. Consider Lizzie Elves past and present. What is the true source of her resentment? Vlakith has upended Lazel's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was. And can never be again. You're grieving the future you'll never have. Black it took everything from you. Your own regent is terrorizing you. You have a re you have a good reason to hate her. How well know. you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent. A new land, a new allies. Vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Shmar Sala Orpheus must still now fall. She's very disappointed when we don't free him. Orpheus's will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Uh, you've been quick to pledge yourself to Orpheus's cause. Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. Mm. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the prince I don't know. Of the flies. Should we free death. Orpheus? You guys let me know. So, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. I have not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen. True enough. But I set my heart for searching for someone else, too. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Minsk of Rashomon? Your ruined brain lurches and bilious intestines squirm. A hero, an enemy most foul. Why am I standing like that? I'm in spawn against Ball with you. And I fear Ball dearly. Uh, sworn hunter of Ball spawn. Or a stalwart friend to one. That depends entirely on the Ball spawn. Minsk is an old friend. <laughs> Perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs, times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. <clears throat> I suspect there's more to the story than that. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact <clears throat> of it. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there. Cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. <clears throat> he was overrun. Dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us. Or leave him. And live to fight another day. Um, that's a cruel choice to have to make. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Then let's find him. As simply as that? <clears throat> For no other reason than that I asked? Of course. I'm a good person. 
you killed Catherick and took his netherstone the chosen's control of the brain has been brittle it's rebelling against Orin and Gortash fiercely I suspected that when we took Catherick's <clears throat> stone the brain would begin to break free those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders and I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Mm. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. <laughs> Can you go back to your other form? Your company is disgusting. I expected you to be on more, uh, more on guard this close to the brain. What are you doing? You seem troubled. Uh, you seem troubled. An accurate summary. I have found myself distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Uh. You have a love interest. Who do you think of? Duke Stelmay. Or Belin, as I knew her. I wasn't ready for her death. You thought you were my first ally. <sighs> Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. What does that mean? Was it more intimate? Like, I'm not asking him that. Did you manipulate her? How so? In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. Well, you should go back to your um, hot form that I gave you. Her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, Everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. Do you need another hug? Um, not in this form. If I didn't know you were a mind flayer, I would say you're upset. Uh... Watching your loves die only makes you tougher. I'm um, sorry for your loss. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that mind flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you feel anything or not. Uh... <laughs> Give him a reassuring squeeze. <laughs> I can't. He said, you "Okay." Show me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, 
that I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical form. Listen. I know it is no easy choice for you, but we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of illithidness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. I wish Another you were quick. less illithid. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. I think about often how cruel it is that they made me create a hot guardian and then ended up turning him into a mind flare. It's like a tease. Um, okay. I say we go talk to Gortash. And then finish it up. If it isn't little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Heard about his father. The Dead Three's puppet. <clears throat> a travesty, really. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go oh, you win. We'll talk after. And bring the pup along, if you can. All right. I'd hate for him to miss the fun. Bring him along now? Ugh, yeah, I guess I should do that. Wow. Red carpet just for us. Kinspeople, Baldorians, friends. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him. Gortash. This is it. I can practically taste his blood from Well, there's way too many people around here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. Uh, careful, Karlak. We can't risk a confrontation here. So we bide our time. <clears throat> but make no mistake, that monkey is mine. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay their respects. My respects. You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your. My favorite assassin. I'm so glad you've returned to my side. Hang on. What? You know each other. Oh, I don't know. Do we I? have important matters to address. My reunion with Karlak can wait. What business have you with me? Oh, I've forgotten. Your memories are quite lost, aren't they? Orin told me she'd made a fool of you. To think you and Karlak traveled together all this time and she hadn't the faintest you were one of my nearest and dearest. Let me clear up some mysteries then. It's about time, I think. I think as well. You and I initiated this plot. We discussed in depth the failures of our predecessors and how to avoid them. We understood that if we were to unite, no one could stand in the way of the Dead Three. So, unite we did. First, we obtained the crown. Then we enslaved the brain. From there, it was but a small step to the most successful religious hoax ever perpetrated. What was my role in this plan? In Val's name, you set your bloody daggers to cause panic in the streets. Killing in the Absolute's name. You would have carried out that part of the plan had Orin not ruined your hard work. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Ketrick Thorpe. <clears throat> In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the absolute. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. It was all going so well <clears throat> until you vanished. Orin informed us that henceforth she would speak for the Temple of Baal and act on their behalf. Nice. But she, she made a mess of things. 
Unlike you, she cannot control herself. Hang on. What the fuck is going on here? Um, you misread me. I've come to end this evil plot. Have you gone soft? I find that hard to believe. One's true nature always rises to the top. When Kethrick fell, I feared the worst. That our plans would fail like so many before because of discord among ourselves. Uh, now you've returned, we can achieve all of our dreams still. You brought Thorm's Neverstone. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorm's, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the strongest <coughs> infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, a bleak prospect. But it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I renew our old partnership. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. Why is the crown failing? I already know that, right? I want to avenge myself. I want to strike at Orin. Um, let's just say what kind of partnership did you have in mind? There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. <coughs> With Ketherick felled, Orin proves <coughs> treacherous. She craves the Neverstones for her own. Desperate to impress Baal. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. I'm not afraid of her. You've met her assassins. Efficient killers, by all accounts. I know you survived previous encounters. But she won't relent. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. <clears throat> you know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, <clears throat> but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three Neverstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorches earth. So I turn to the Scion of Baal. You are his dear lady. He created you to rule. I uh, show proper, you show proper respect, good. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Let's make our pact anew. A divine oath, sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than gods we rule as the absolute and my father the urge the deplorably brutal urge sickens within you when you level the world over that dead world must be yours alone but first you will rule then you will ruin what do you say <laughs> shall we be allies I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need <clears> not <throat> honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. Um, Orin betrayed me and you did nothing to help me then. What has changed? I seem to have trusted you once, and it ruined me. I'm not about to repeat that mistake. I will defeat Orin, and we shall be allies. I'll think about it. No promises. Orin betrayed me, and you did nothing to help me then. What has changed? We would not meddle in each other's <clears throat> affairs. This was our agreement. She came to us as Baal's chosen. <clears throat> we are but servants to our lords. Your presence here means your lord sees a purpose for you yet. I tolerated Orin. But I liked you. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll think about it. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. 
Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A shapeshifter? Well, it could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. <laughs> the faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. I must go. Before you do, come and witness. As I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Fine, let's get this over with. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished Dukes, <coughs> Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. <laughs> swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Enver Gortash. Say nothing. The council appoints you, Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the steel watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed. Oh boy. You have it. Would Enver Gortash <clears throat> in all his glory. What did you make of him? You're like an absolute fraud in a very nice coat. Frankly, I'm impressed. He's wormed his way into the most powerful position in Baldur's Gate. He only managed it by tadpoling Duke Ravenguard. Gortash doesn't play fair. If he did, he wouldn't have been able well, to skip to the top like this. I don't know how anyone in this hall could fall for this charade. Isn't it obvious what a chancer he is? When people are scared to do whatever it takes to feel safe. And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. Alrighty, guys, that is where we're going to be ending today's episode. We learned some big info today from Gortash that we were a part. We knew we were a ball spawn, but we were originally part of this whole orchestrated plan with Gortash. We were part of it. We were supposed to be in Oren's place doing all of this. And then I guess she did something to us to make us lose our memory um, and pretty much end up where we are now apparently we're different than or though we can somewhat control ourselves but obviously we're doing a redemption dark urge so we are not going to be um joining gortash unfortunately although it would be interesting but next time we're gonna go talk to mazora see what the hell she wants then we're gonna head into the city try and find Orin, go to Kazador's palace lots of stuff to do so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.